So this poster just popped on my feed and suddenly the sirens went off in my head. That looks familiar. I've seen that somewhere. And then it hit my head. Oh, that's Romancham. And then no points for guessing. It's an official remake of Romancham. But remaking that film makes no sense to me. So let's talk about why I feel that this Malayalam film cannot be remade and the state of Bollywood today compared to Malayalam cinema. Hello guys, I'm Nona Prince and Romancham, a horror comedy from last year. Did really well at the box office. By the way, also available in Hindi dub on Disney Plus Hotstar. Now, this genre of horror comedy mostly works. It's really popular. And it makes sense why you would want to remake this. But there's a big problem. Because the thing that really stands out in Romancham is the personal touch of the writer and director Jitu Madhavan. Because this film is semi-autobiographical. So many moments in the film is inspired from his real life. And that's what makes the film very relatable and detailed. And you cannot just remake that. That will not translate. The plot with the ghost and all is fine. But without the friendship, without the camaraderie, everything will just be shallow. There are these small, small relatable moments in the film that, you know, shines out. And you cannot just recreate them with someone else. Now, what's in favor of this remake? The cast is relatively, you know, I would not say unknown, but, you know, they are not stars. They are known people. Shreya Stalpede, Tushar Kapoor and others, I have no idea. So maybe that works for the film. There's no one or two big stars, you know, that take all the limelight away from the main narrative. It can also be, you know, they also add their own personal touch and surprise us all. But I see very less chance of that happening. I actually thought Bollywood was moving away from you know the remake culture the name they got remake would because many of them even with big actors was not working at all except Disham too it's a different case altogether there were so many comments under my review of Manjumal Boys you know making jokes that Bollywood's gonna remake Akshay Kumar is already on the way they'll make it Khiladi Boys and with all fun and games there is some truth to that and even when Bollywood tries to do a good narrative they just lack in the execution take example just like Manjumal Boys there was a similar story on which Akshay Kumar made a movie Mission Rani Ganj even that's a very old story they didn't have technology back then and they saved people from the mines and that story is worth telling but the execution of that film the filmmaking is so mediocre it's just like the fake beard Akshay Kumar is carrying in that film like that's their dedication that film has lot many moments that really shines but the execution the filmmaking just takes the film down and I just wonder if a credible team like the makers of Manjumal Boys had made that film how exceptional that would have been and there was this term coined by Anupama Chopra from Film Companion, the creative bankruptcy in Bollywood. And I thought, let's just look at the slate of this year till now. It's three months. Malayalam cinema is already like over producing stuff and doing amazingly well. And it's just the end of March. They've already produced almost five to six films, which will be in my list of the best films of the year. But when you talk about Bollywood or the Hindi film industry, that's not the case at all. You can check out my detailed review about these films on my Hindi channel. So if you go through the top grossers of the year till now from Hindi, there's Fighter, an aviation film for a change. But again, the same India versus Pakistan. Then we have Shaitan, a remake of a Gujarati film. Then we have Teri Baato Mein Yuhi Uljar Raha. Again, I still feel it's the worst title ever. But again, a unique concept, but done in a very mediocre, Bollywoodized way. Then we have Article 370, a very politically motivated film, interestingly coming out in an election year. And even that has become a trend now because it has worked in the past, like Kashmir Files or the Kerala story. We also had Mehu Atal and V. Sarvakar. Then we had Merry Christmas from Sri Ram Raghavan, which I'll call a totally original film, but didn't do that well. A Lapata Ladies, again, something original and different. Then Madgaon Express, a very original comedy from Bollywood. Bollywood. Yodha was trying something different but in the same packaging. Then we have some OTT films also. Murder Mubarak which was really boring. Bakshak a very hard hitting film. And Air Vatan Mere Vatan. Definitely a Nepo product and not good at all. We also had a smaller film All India Ranked by Varun Grover. A story about getting into IIT and what it's all about. A very personal film but something we have seen many times now. So my point being it's a mixed bag and considering the size of the industry the amount of money they create the amount of professionals working it's sad to see that no one is thinking out of the box. Everyone is trying to work in that template, in that formula. Yes, for some film, they crack it and it turns out to be a okay film, but that can never become exceptional. And it's definitely not a fair comparison to compare two industries. There are many different factors. When you're a small native industry, there's many things you can try. You can experiment, you can fail. There's less money involved. There's more camaraderie, there's more cooperation. But Bollywood works like a corporate now. There's a lot more money involved and therefore less risk. But to do something extraordinary, you have to take risk. It's a creative field at the end of the day. And Malayalam Cinema is definitely leading the way in that. I don't know if this video will age well because it's just three months. There are nine more months to go and things may change after those nine months or maybe not. But what do you think? Do let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And here you can check out how Malayalam Cinema is even, you know, experimenting with mass genre. Check it out here and I will see you next time.